Hello, it's Chris Hamilton here with Sales Tip A Day, www.salestipaday.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to download your LinkedIn connections emails, otherwise known as accessing your most useful information on LinkedIn. So first of all, if you want to download your first level connections emails, what you have to do is when you go to LinkedIn, over on the right hand side, you're going to see a little me section. And if you have a profile picture, that's where your profile picture is. So if you look in the upper right hand corner here where there's a circle, click on that. Then what happens is it opens up a menu and underneath there it's got account and it says settings and privacy. Click on that. Now, when you get in here, what you see is your settings page. And there's a whole bunch of information down the left-hand side, such as basic, partners, third party, subscriptions, accounts. When you're in the little basic section there, as you start scrolling down the page, the last option that you have in the basic section is get an archive of your data. So go find that and click on that. And then what you're going to see is you're going to see a little page like this that shows up that says get an archive of your data. What you want to do is get the fast file only. It typically will come back to you in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes when you ask for this. But it downloads all your information out of uh, LinkedIn and gives you a copy of a whole bunch of different files. So what you do, click on fast file only and then click the request archive. And it's going to prompt you to put your password in. So hopefully you remember your LinkedIn password and you can put it in there. And then within about 10 minutes, what happens is uh, an email will show up in your email um, account. And if you're using Google and you have the different tabs up there, like you see here, I have primary social and promotions. You may have to look around for it. It typically will probably show up in your social profile and what it says is your LinkedIn data archive is ready. So when you click on that, what you're prompted to do is download with this link. So just click on that little blue bar there when it says download it with this link. And then what happens is it brings you back to this um, uh, settings page again, and you're given the ability to download your data. So just simply click that download button. Now, when you click that download button, what happens is it's going to bring back a zip file, which is basic LinkedIn data export, and then it'll have the date on it as well. And all you do is you double click that and it's gonna open up and extract that and put it into a file format for you. And then what you wanna do is there's a whole bunch of files in there you wanna select, but the one that you want to, or there's a whole bunch of files you could select, but the one that you wanna select is connections.csv. And typically what now what's this gonna bring up is it's gonna bring up people with their first name, their last name, their email address, their company, their position, and the date that you were contacted on. And if, in the past, you had ever put any tags against these people in LinkedIn when they used to allow that, you're going to get the tags there as well. But this is how you're going to end up getting your contacts and their emails and their company and their position. So you get um, the relevant information that you need. And my suggestion are, there's a couple of, there's about three tips that I would suggest on this. There's probably more, but these are three that I would suggest is first thing is when you go in and you get this I would go through and sort your list depending on how you want to look at it. You could sort it by client, prospect, suspect, um, or different ways. What I do is I usually sort by A, B, C, and D. So A being people that I want to contact every 30 days, B being every 60 days, C being every 90 days or beyond, D being people that I really have um, no reason to connect with or contact or be in contact with on a regular basis. Now, then what you could do is after you sort your list, you if you're running a client relationship management program, I would suggest that you can put uh, these people, depending on their categories that you sort them into, into your CRM. So the reason why I say that is if you have clients, suspects, prospects, um, you know those are people that could fit into your CRM that you're working with and put them in all others. I wouldn't put them into your CRM. It just creates noise. The other one you can do is same sort of thing as once you've sorted it out, import these into your email contacts. If you got Outlook or Gmail or whatever, you can you know, create your contacts and put that in there. A couple other things you should take note of is I would do this regularly so I can kind of tell where LinkedIn's going. They've got this new messenger feature in there. They're going to kind of, my belief is they're going to flip this out like Facebook where um, you know, you, they're, they're going to try to get people to start using LinkedIn as a messaging portal and potentially 
this email functionality is going to go away. So I would do this on a regular basis, being kind of every 30 days, just download the um, download your connections and put it in your calendar so that it prompts you to remember that. Um, the other thing you got to know is you cannot get emails outside of your first level connections. I get asked this all the time is how do I get second, third group member uh, emails? Typically, you cannot access them. You don't have the ability to get at those. So don't even think about trying to get at them because it just does. You can't do it. Uh, last but not least, as I showed you before, if you're using Gmail, you may have to check the social tab instead of in your primary tab. Um, you may be hunting for this. So just understand when you add, request a data archive, it may show up in that social tab as well. So there you go. If you want to reach out to me, it's Chris Hamilton here. You can reach me at chris at sales tip .com or else uh, you try me on my cell phone, 403-630-1243. If I do not answer, leave a voice on message and I will get back to you. And feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Best way to do it, look up Chris Hamilton in Calgary and I should pop to the top and reach out to me. Uh, but when you do reach out to me, at least send me a message and tell me why you're reaching out to me. Say, I saw a video of yours on LinkedIn, or I did this, or I did this, or I saw your blog post, just so I know where it's coming from. Thanks a ton. Hopefully you find this information useful and have yourself a super day.